This is Mr. Zhang from Visa in Korea. So how are you today, right? So um, today's main lecture is how can I change my D8 visa to other visas such as F2 visa or F5 visa, right? Uh, I am running my corporate with a D8 visa, but I really want to change my D8 visa to another visa which I can work or run my different businesses in Korea without investing a bunch of money, right? Are there any other visas can I apply for? Uh, I received a lot of questions from the D8 visa holders. So you know that D8 visa, right? This is a corporate investment visa and they can run their own business inside Korea. But as you know, like uh, due to COVID-19, right, and their uh, the businesses are getting worse, and also very difficult to the surviving uh, survive in current situation, but also what is very uh, you know cannot predict and uh, in the future of their businesses right now. So if they are doing and the current situation is so what is the or what is another options for that and they really want to do something but the 8 visa itself has has a lot of restrictions right now so so most of the uh, the 8 visa and the holders may consider to change F2 visa or F5 permanent residence visa so which one is better for you? Yes, absolutely. F5 visa, right? Itself is very good, but it's not easy. And today I will and um, lecture you about what is the main requirement if the A visa want to change F2, and also which kind of F2 visas are there. And also F5, which kind of F5 and they can change it. I will summarize it and I will let you know more detailed information on that. So if you know, uh, if you take my lectures today and you may understand that, what is the important thing? What you need to prepare for that if you want to change F2 or F5. Okay, let us start right now. Oh, before we started here, okay, you were uh, subscribe the button, right? So this is very, very helpful and for me, and they gave lots of motivation to me uh, to make uh, these lectures for everybody, right? Okay, let us start today's lecture. Okay, uh, so DA visa to F2 visa, right? The first time I will explain about which kind of F2 uh, that they can change and what is the requirement for that. So today I will explain the two visa types. The first one is F2 90 9 visa. Uh, can you see that, right? Okay. The what is the requirement for that? What is the requirement for that? Okay. Uh, the straight you erased it. I changed my color, and I tried to write down again. Okay. Uh, what is that? Uh, exactly what? Uh, this one is good. Okay. So okay. F. Oh, what's that? Okay, and uh, change it. Okay, I'm gonna try. Yes, this is better. F2, yes, 99 visa. So, what is the requirement for that? The first one investment amount, right? Investment about uh, amount shall be over 100, 100 million won. Because you know five years before, uh, and when the somebody applied for the uh, corporate 
investment visa through the foreign uh, direct investment, right? If you do, and they need like a 50 million won investment, but if you want to change, you have to 99 visa, right? And you have to add your investment the, from the 50 million won to 100 million won. This is the first condition, right? You need to check that you invested the 100 million or not, okay? The secondly, the five years. Five years in the from the A visa. So uh, previously, a few years ago, things until 2019, right? Uh, if the A visa holders wanted to change F to 99 visa, right? They have to wait it until seven years, but it has been unified to the five years, right? So five years, three. So, but I'm not sure that. Uh, you're living in Korea alone or did you invite your family members living in Korea together? But I, I'm not sure that. So uh, there's a two one, right? First one, are you single, right? Staying in Korea with a DA uh, visa and, uh, and uh, you're just still single or with your spouse okay i will let you know two things okay because it is related to the income if you are staying here and with a d8 visa right so the and uh, the basic income basic income and the 12 times of a basic income you can uh show them right so right now, the yesterday, I uh, just explained that the basic and the requirement for them and the 2020 is the hourly income is um, seven, uh, 8,721. So you can calculate and 8,720 and 209 hours and 12 is around wait a minute i, I got a, a calculator so and 20 and 209 is a one month and 12 month it's a 22 million one right so this is a 20, 22 million won. Okay, if you are staying with your spouse, right? Genai one time income is required. So Genai is 2019 Genai is 37 point around the 4 million one this is a very very required for that okay and uh and uh this is a very important thing you have to meet this one the from the da visa right so the last one uh another one is so uh and the five the last one so uh another requirement the from d8 visa to f299 the second one is k i i p stage four compilation this is a mandatory right this is a mandatory oh uh another good news the few days later then i will order you know, I will order some um, mouse pen so I can write down more nicely. Right now, I'm using a mouse and I just write down, but I try my best, but my uh, writing uh, is very not good. But a few days later, and I can use a mouse pen, I can write down very clearly for that. Okay? Okay. So wait for that until then the last the fifth and the condition is what is that the saving 
So saving, you need is saving. So what? Uh, 30 million won. 30 million won. If you are staying with your spouse and your spouse are also deposit certain amount of money, and uh, so you can put together right, uh, with uh, your uh, your spouse and deposit and totally and 30 million won, uh, million won is required but your uh, F 299 visa applicant shall hold uh, one point uh, 50 million won on their own name like a like a uh, the rent and down payment or your deposit on your bank right so F9 applicant it shall be uh, uh, shall be have uh, 15 million won right in your own but totally need 30 million won. This is a basic requirement for F299 visa, right? Okay, so I just give this lecture just one time and I just erase this information on that because so you need to focus on that if not right don't skip this one right this is a very important part so that's why I explain for that to make your more concentration on my lecture so I just received the several questions about that and they said that I already explained that so don't skip it just to listen it just a 20 minute lecture is very very good for you okay just to just to watch <laughs> thank you thank you for your very excellent participating in okay uh, so uh, what is the next uh, the visa time and uh, the next visa is F2 seven visa right okay the first one is a period is a required period so what is the period? D8 visa to F27, right? That is a very, very important and need to wait in three years. But your income for the previous year. Oh, this is a comprehensive income, okay? Comprehensive. Comprehensive, right? Income. So, so it is released every July, and you have to report in May. But result comes out your yield income, not sales, not sales volume, not sales or corporate tax. It is not this one. This is a income, right? Income certificate issued by tax office. This is very important. So you make yourself to schedule the, the how to do that, right? This is July. And the last one is a point 80 points. Okay, I just posted it and the F27, the chart, the point chart already, I did it. You can check my uh, YouTube channel and also, and there was some of the uh, options that I no need, no need the three years to wait because your income is uh, if uh, over 40 million won based on income certificate. You don't need to wait. Okay? This is the one and after seven. And the point chart are already uploaded and you can use my chart. Okay, another one. So what is the good for F299? Or the F27? Which one is good? Which one is good? Which one is good? But I just explained and uh and uh, yesterday is my uh, yesterday is my uh, the lecture. I just explained very very detailed about this, right? 
So how to do? How to how can I check that? Right? You can check and the F27 and what is the, the benefit F27 and F299 visa, right? Please check my YouTube channel, YouTube channel and post it on, uh, post it on and, uh, and the February 3rd. Feb third, right? You can see that my YouTube channel and the posted on the February third. I will explain very detailed information about after seven and after ninety nine visa, right? Good. Okay, I will need to check the next one. Okay. Okay. So F five visa, right? So oh, what is the F five? Right, so I will just recommend you two F5 visa, right? First one F5 one, but I really don't like to recommend you because if you apply for the um, F5 one, the first one with a D8 visa, right? The first one you have to meet which one? <laughs> two years sales. I'm sorry for that. Two years of sales, right? Two years of sales volume. Wow, this is very huge. So, and uh, yearly, uh, the total is, is the average, right? Average, average, and the sales volume for two years. One billion won, shibok won. Wow, too high, right? Wow, shibok won. Whoo, one billion won. The second one and need five years to send from D8 visa, right? Wow, I'm very good writing on my you know mouse. Number three, what is that? Okay, K I I P stage five completion. Wow, it's great. Stage 5 completion. Number 4. What is the requirement? GNI double income. So, uh, uh, 2019 income, the GNI is um, uh, 37 of point of 4 million won. Okay? So the double is around the double, right? Double is around uh, uh, seventy-four point eight million one, right? But uh, GNI previous years GNI will be released in every March, but so next month, two thousand twenty GNI will be. Uh, the related from Bank of Korea, I will and and give more info, information once it is uh, it is a released okay so, okay and what is the next one next visa type the same the from the uh, same from the other things. Wait a minute. Okay. So there is a F five sixteen. F uh F F of five sixteen. But it is actually from if you got F two seven, right? So this is uh if you got the F seven. Oh, I'm sorry. Good. Okay, so how to do? So, uh, need three, three years in the from, um, 
f to 7 to f5 is 16 but you have to change from d8 right mm. so three years required from f to 7 to f5 16 if you go directly it is not allowable right so if you want to do directly f5 1 it is the only way but you can go this way you can use f to 7 then three years so what is that gni double is a required i just explained about the gni the previous page and kiip stage 5 completion this is a main requirement wow it's difficult okay see the next page about the, my suggestions okay okay so if you got a d8 video right now right so you can change f51 or f516 there is two and f5 videos so if you go to directly for this one and i just explain one two three four there are lots of things especially like a sales volume so amazingly you have to meet one billion one one billion one so this is very difficult right so my recommendation is uh, this one is uh, cannot is uh, cannot apply and you can apply but you meet the but you can check that right previous page so uh, I just recommend you F299 or F2 the 7 visa right and 2 F7 need a 3 years but your previous if your previous years income is over the 40 million won and you can apply directly and this one did five years and I, I, I explained the basic requirement right why it is better to move this one if you using F to 7 or F to 99 you don't need to sales volume 1 billion 1 every Z for two years it is not required it is not required you can apply for that so d8 period f to 19 period and totally and the five years you can uh the plus five years you can apply for that totally right but if you can change f to seven right you no need no need if you do, if you do, no need uh, the one billion one and uh, uh, your average. So D A to F to seven is a need the three years. But if you have uh, the forty million one income, you can uh, apply directly. And but usually, if you do, cannot do. But F to seven to F516 need three years so I can use this one so before moving to F51 F516 if you got the A visa right and you can check F299 and F7 initially right this is a very important very important and the information on that right if you do if you do uh, so what is the benefit for the F299 and the F27, right? You can check that You can check that right February February and the third my YouTube channel There is an explanation about the benefit 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 about that benefit so and the requirement also i just explained very detailedly so uh, you can check the favorite three youtube and the visa in korea channel and you can check the benefit of f299 and f7 visa right so
Did this I just explain the very very important part, right? Right? So and if uh, my lecture is very good for you, and please subscribe me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Right? Very important, very important. Subscribe me. Okay. Uh, today, uh, the lecture uh, is around 25 minutes, but I explained very detailedly, right? So if you have any questions, you can visit www.visainquiry.com or just visit uh, facebook.com slash visa inquiry. There is my contact number. You can contact me and we can discuss in the further details, right? Okay, this is Visa in Korea and uh, and Mr. John, see you next time with more valuable inf information on that. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.